My foot on the gas, like I'm tryna bust out the bottom. Watch how I slide and then get off like a potter. Catch me if you can, I'm a bad man. Live a double life like I'm bad man. What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mike from Balls of Fury and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a dreamsicle ball python. Let's get into it. This is one of my favorite ball python mutations out there. It's one of the most beautiful ball python mutations. It is a double recessive combination. I'm going to teach you guys how you can actually make them. First, we're going to start off with the cheapest route to making dream skulls. Now, this route is going to take you the longest amount of time. On average, if you do choose to go down this route, it actually will probably take you about five to eight years to produce a visual dream skull. So it really depends on your budget, how patient you are and what you can afford. Now, the cheapest way to do this would actually be to go out and buy a piebald ball python like this and a lavender albino ball python. Now, when you do this and you breathe them together, you're not gonna get any visual pieds or lavenders. A dreamsicle is a lavender albino piebald. It's a double recessive mutation. In order to create visuals, you need a copy of each recessive gene on each side of the parents. So the mom has to be car carrying a copy of pied and lavender, and the father also has to be carrying a copy of Pied and Lavender in order to have a chance at hitting a dreamsicle. So if you buy a visual Pied and then you buy a visual Lavender Albino and you breed them together, you're going to create what are called double hets. Now all of the babies will be carrying a copy of the Piebald gene and also the Lavender Albino gene. So on average, a female ball python can take about two to three years to reach breeding size and maturity. Now, if you buy your pied, say you get a pied female, you buy it as a hatchling, it's gonna take you about two years to get this girl up to size to breed. Now, males, on the other hand, take about six months to 18 months to reach maturity. So they reach it much faster. Um, but still, that's already two years down that you have to go let's fast forward two years now you're breeding them you produce a clutch of eggs you get the double head babies now you have to hold back some of those babies and actually raise those up for another two years so you're already looking at four years potentially before you even make a single dreamsicle now if the odds gods are with you because the odds do play a factor in this pairing um and they bless you with a dream school in the first four years that's awesome. However, just realize if you go down this route, you might not hit on dream schools at all for a couple of years because it, on average, double head to double head, your percentages aren't that high of actually hitting the double visual. Um, so you might not even hit that double visual on your first try with the double heads. So this route could take you a long time to hit a dream school. It is the most inexpensive route to go. However, it's going to take you the longest unless you get lucky. And uh, there's a lot of different factors that can go into producing something like a dream skull or any double recessive mutation for that matter. But that is the cheapest route, you guys. Pied to lavender, hold back the babies, and then breed the babies back to each other. And then hopefully you will produce that visual dream skull that you've been hoping to get. Now, on average, guys, the initial investment, if you do go down that cheaper route, is probably going to be somewhere in the ballpark of about, you know, $700 to $800 of an initial investment. Lavender albinos go for about $350 to $400. Same for a visual pie ball, depending on the sex, the size, yada, yada, yada. So you're looking at about an $800 investment right off the rip. But like I said, if that's your budget, you can make dream schools this way. You just have to get lucky and it's going to take you a little bit of time, but you still can get the same result by going down that route. If you get that lavender albino boy, like I said, he's going to take about six to 18 months to reach maturity. And then the female, you're going to be waiting on her for about two years, depending on how well they feed. 
and other factors as well. So I think that route is a good way to go if you do want to make them. You have a smaller budget to work with and um, you know, you're not gonna make them in high amounts of quantity unless you get really, really lucky and you you know you get blessed with the great odds in the clutch. But uh, it's gonna be much more difficult to, for you to make large amounts of dream schools. However, in the most expensive route that we're gonna talk about next, you can make a ton of dream schools this way, but your initial upfront investment is gonna be much higher. And it's gonna cost you a lot more money, but in the long run, you're gonna make back that profit well over what you spent. So I went this route and I think this is the best route in my opinion because I do want to make a lot of dream schools and also I want to add other genes into the mix so that we can actually change the appearance of the dream school and make it even better and even rarer. Now guys, the most expensive route to go down would actually be to buy visual dream schools right off of the bat. Now as an initial investment, you're probably looking at about a $3,000 investment right off the rip for just one boy and one female. Male dream schools typically will range anywhere in the price of $1,200 to $1,500, and then females range in the price of about $1,500 to $1,800. And that's just for a visual dream school. Something like this girl right here, which is a yellow belly dream school, will actually go for upwards of $3,000 to $4,000. So once you start getting other genes into the mix, it really raises the price. They're harder to make, they're rarer, and uh, it just makes the snake overall more expensive. However, if you do go down this route, which is the route that I chose to go down, I saved a lot of money, I worked hard to buy these snakes, guys, but I think it's the smarter investment in the long run. What happens when you breed two visual dream schools together Everything in the clutch will be a visual dream school no matter what. You have no guessing game at, the, at all. It's all going to be dream schools. The only thing that might change in your odds is if you uh, have some co-dominance in the mix. Those co-dominance on average will only pass on to half of the offspring right off of the rip. So um, your odds are still good of making combinations of dream schools with codoms in there. However, you know, just realize that not everything is going to be expressing that co-dominant right off the rip, but on average, half of the clutch should be carrying that co-dominant uh, gene. Now, for example, this girl is a yellow belly dream school, so she is carrying the co-dominant gene yellow belly. Now, if I breed her to a male dream school, on average, half of the babies will be regular dream schools and half of the babies will come out yellow belly dream schools. Now, I think this is a great initial investment because you're gonna make your money back right off the bat you're basically only going to have to wait two to three years to breed your pair of dream skulls and you're not going to have to wait to hold back babies to breed them back together to actually make the visual double recessive because like i said if you breed a dream skull to a dream skull everything in the clutch will be visual dream skulls and there's no guessing at all you know your odds of hitting dream skulls is high and you're just also fast forwarding your progression as far as the dream school project because once you have a clutch where you hit all dream schools, you can keep back some more dream schools. You can build your dream school colony. And I think in the long run, it's just a better all, uh, better overall investment for you if you go down that more expensive route. But also just, you know, assess your goals, assess what you want to do in the project. If your goal is just to make a dream school, then by all means, you know, you could take the longer route and, uh, you know, get that lab boy and breed it to a pied female and go that way. But uh, my goals and my team's goals is to make some insane dream school combos. We really want to make some crazy, beautiful dream school combos. And we figured that the best way to do that was to buy visuals off the rip so we could fast forward our progression and start working other genes into this combination and having higher odds of actually producing them in the visual form down the road. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and smash the like button, drop a comment, please subscribe to the channel. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.